welcome to yet another video and today we're talking about my university experience here in Spain. Now to begin with I want to say that the University of Granada is huge. It spans across the entire city and has buildings everywhere. Yet the individual buildings are not actually called campuses, instead they're called facultades, which I guess translates to faculty. The faculties are of course subject specific. So you know you have the faculty of law, the faculty of sciences, social sciences, medicine, um, dentistry, <laughs> nursing, I mean there are too many of them for me to list but you get the idea. And while they are subject specific, they do offer a variety of degrees within their subject area. Now each degree or a couple of degrees if they're very similar will have their very own very exclusive um, department. The departments are basically small areas within the faculty building where you can find the offices for every single professor that teaches a module within your degree. That is not to say that here in Granada there are no campuses, it's just that what they call campus is basically areas within the city that are dedicated exclusively to university buildings. I, for example, study at a campus called Campus de la Cartuja, which is this very big area on top of this hill um, that houses about five or six different uh, facultades. I must say the view up there is beautiful, but the climb, yeah, not so fun. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I specifically study at the Facultad de Filosofía y Letras, and for those who don't know, that means Faculty of Philosophy and Letters. Letters being any subject that has to do with languages, linguistics, literature, that kind of thing. I think this is important to note because at UCL I'm actually a European Social and Political Studies student. And then that kind of begs the question, hmm, then why aren't you with the social sciences and politics faculty at the University of Granada, which exists? And the short answer to that is that all of my language classes at UCL were with the Spanish department, and the Erasmus exchange is between the Spanish department and the equivalent department uh, at your host university. That in my case being, of course, the faculty of philosophy and letters. Now, a lot of people think that this is kind of annoying because it means that during your year abroad you have to study something that's completely different from your degree back at home, but I actually think it's a great opportunity for you to explore something new, try something different, study something that maybe you have an interest in or you think you're, it's cool or you have some curiosity about, but you've never had the opportunity or the chance to actually take in university. Um, and that's exactly what I did. <laughs> I have always been a artsy person, you know, I like oil painting and drawing and music and, you know, cinema and all that kind of stuff. And now I'm a student of the history of the arts and it's pretty great. This brings me to my second point, which is that just because this is, you know, an exchange between two language departments, it doesn't mean that you'll necessarily have to study a language-based degree. At least not here at the University of Granada, where they're pretty great at giving Erasmus students all the freedom they need to choose both their degree and every single module that comes with it. In fact, when you begin the process of application with the University of Granada for your Erasmus exchange, they send you this very detailed email which lists every single degree that they offer. And it's pretty great, you can choose any degree you want independently of what you're studying back at home. And then not only that, but the email also includes a list of every single module available for each degree and that way you can make a very very informed decision. As for the modules themselves, um, you have to take 10 modules during that year, 5 in the first semester and 5 in the second, and while it is your obligation to choose modules that don't clash time-wise and that are well distributed between uh, the two semesters, you are 100% free to choose whatever module you want from your degree and four modules, <laughs> uh, a maximum of four modules from any other degree in the faculty. So while I am a uh, art history student, I'm also taking archaeology, I'm taking forensic anthropology, I'm taking Brazilian literature, um, which are, you know, subjects from other degrees, which I was also allowed to take. So yeah, um, I hope this video was kind of informative because it does contain, you know, some of the kind of information that I kind of wish I had when I was choosing which university to go to um, for my Erasmus exchange. 
And yeah, uh, thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time.